Extension Agent with Texas AgriLife Extension Service. And I'm wondering, are you looking for an easy crock pot recipe that your family will love? Well, I have the answer for you. Savory onion and mushroom pork roast. Your kids are going to love it. We're going to start with some carrots, about 15 to 20 carrots or more if your family likes them. We're going to add those to the bottom of our crock pot. A three to four pound pork roast. Uh, make sure when you're at the grocery store, you're looking for the word loin. That's going to mean that it's a leaner um, cut of meat. So we want to make sure that we're getting the leanest meat possible. All right. In a small bowl, we're going to cut up about um, a cup of button mushrooms and a cup of baby bella mushrooms. Now, if your family really doesn't like mushrooms, you can cut back on them a little bit. My family really likes them, so I actually beefed it up a little bit and added some extras. We're going to take a whole chopped up onion and pour this in our bowl. Leave me a little room here. Okay, um, to that we're going to add about a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now, I really like Worcestershire sauce, so I'm adding about a tablespoon. So make sure this recipe is your own. Um, add what you like, take out what you don't. Um, I've got a quarter cup of, or a quarter teaspoon of rosemary, a half a teaspoon of thyme, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. So we're going to add that in here. It smells really, really good. And then we're going to add one ca uh, can of cream of mushroom soup. And we're also going to add about three-fourths cup of chicken broth to that. Now that's in here already, so I've kind of mixed it around. And um, we're going to pour this in our mixture. It's going to make kind of like a gravy. We just mix it together. It doesn't have to be really integrated, just enough to get it all coated. We're going to pour this over our pork mixture. And what it's going to do is give it that moisture it needs to cook really, really nice and juicy. Now, if you like other vegetables, you could definitely add celery to this dish. Um, if you want a one-pot meal, you can also add potatoes. Um, and then it's just like a regular pot roast that you make with beef, except it's pork, and it's got a little extra kick to it with all of our herbs and Worcestershire sauce. So we're pouring this over our pork. And we've got it set on low. Our slow cooker is set on low, so we're going to put our lid on. And it's going to cook for about 8 to 10 hours. So here's our final product. We have our pork roast. You can see our nice carrots and our mushrooms in there. We've got some rice. Um, and of course, half of our plate is green. We've got our green beans. So we like to make sure that half of our plate is made of vegetables. So the next time you're wondering what's for dinner tonight, I hope you'll remember Texas AgriLife Extension Service has great recipes that are full of nutrition and low in cost. And don't forget, like us on Facebook. Thank you.